All right, so we're actually on this job today. Uh, we're covering a few more, uh, you know, quote unquote, free trees. Uh, I've got to cover all the cost of getting them down, but we've got a decent sized little cedar here. Not the biggest one I've done. Actually, the biggest one I've ever done, I just saw a couple weeks ago, but it's not bad. Um, I actually moved on to this job for a big pecan, which I'll show you guys in a while here. But after we were talking, then he was like, oh, you know what? You can take that cedar too if you want it. So you got this one here. This is the biggest. It's maybe 12 inch the base. Um, and then he's got two little smaller ones over here, which since I'm taking them, I'll go ahead and, you know, since I'm here, I'll go ahead and take them. Um, you know, that one there, I'll make a four by four post at least. This one here, that's maybe an eight inch. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and pick these off just because I'm up here on top of the hill. So I'm going to get them while I'm here. And um, then we'll move down the hill and we'll get the pecan, which is actually the, the MVP of this video.
Wow. Look at this thing. Big old pecan. And I'll tell y'all what, of course, I forgot to, I was gonna like try to pose for some selfies and get y'all some footage before I took it down and whatever, you guys know how I am, I get working. And I was really nervous about getting down here in this bottom. You can see the soil is just, it's just pure sand, you know? <laughs> and there's a little creek right over there. So I was a little scared about getting down here and having the ground get soft on me. So I wanted to just get down here and get it done. And it actually held up really well, so that's good. But I gotta tell you, this thing was a beast. You would have never got this stump out without the tree on it. Because even I cut the roots all the way around, started pushing on the tree, and I had it leaning like 20 degrees. And then came off of it with the excavator, and it leaned back. <laughs> it came back just due to the weight of the dirt in that stump wall. It actually wanted to come back and stood straight back up. So it never tried to come back on me. Anyway, uh, the story here, because I never even made an intro video. Um, the story here is this property is a guy I work with at the school and basically he he just doesn't give a crap about pecans, I guess. And this great big pecan was down here in his bottoms. Now, I'm actually moving from this job to another job where I'm gonna get a couple more pecans and I'm gonna get paid to actually take those out for digging the stumps, but I worked a deal here with, with my neighbor, and the only reason I took this one, or my neighbor, my buddy at school, the only reason I agreed to stop in here was, well, one, I was already in town with the machine, so effectively it cost me 100 bucks to move in on this job. So that's not nearly as bad. The walnut cost me 600 in theory when I first moved to it. Now, luckily I've parlayed um, this job and another one after it, so it kind of spreads that cost. But, you know, I was willing to gamble the the mobe cost and eat all that cost on the walnut just to get it um because it was good and then this one just happened to be here so but the reason i wanted this one was because most pecans most pecans fork really low like they've got a major fork like this at like 10 feet off the ground this one is like 30 to 40 feet and even where that fork comes off, it's not a true fork. It, that's, meant, that's more like a side branch that comes off and a pretty straight piece of the trunk keeps on going. So this is a really, really good straight pecan. I've got a couple of chunks of straight pecan like this in the yard, but they're four and five feet long. This one I'll actually be able to get full length logs out of. So that was the justification to take it. Anyway, we're gonna try to start cleaning it up here, get the stump off of it and start dragging it out and stacking it up. Amazing how tight that'll hold right up to the last minute. Oh, goodness. So you can see, just to be smart and safe, or as <laughs> much as I can be, I um, had that trunk piece held up with the excavator. I couldn't, I tried to grab it and, and roll the whole tree to me a little bit, and I couldn't pick it up. Not all as one piece. That stump is heavy, heavy, heavy. Um, But so I, I just kind of supported it with the excavator, just picked up just enough to kind of hold it up. Um, and then that was, you know, the, the plan was for the stump ball to fall over like that. So as heavy as it was, I figured it would. It was just a matter of being careful on, you know, how I made my cut so I didn't pinch right there at the end. You saw I kept, I kept stopping and checking and stopping and checking. Um, mostly I was checking my footing because I wanted to make sure when it flipped up that some of those little roots didn't trip me up and, you know, jerk me with it. So anyway that was quite the process and now because there was dirt all over my saw is dull so i gotta go sharpen my chain and then we'll see about trying to take the first 12 foot log off of here
off my mark. But pretty good. I should have held it up with the excavator, but I told myself I didn't want to for some reason. Maybe because the thumb broke again. And I just don't want the log to... I don't want to feel like I've got a hold of it and then it <laughs> rolls out unexpected because the thumb's not actually holding it. But I got my welders on the way. Well, we had a little malfunction. Busted the thumb and I'm still waiting on my welders. But I think I've got pretty much all I'm going to get out of this tree. Normally, maybe I'd try to take a little bit more, but realistically, there's a guy that's looking at it to cut some firewood because it's nice pecan. And I'm fixing to go from this job to another job and cut even more pecan. So I'm not hurting for pecan, and that doesn't mean I want to be wasteful, but I just don't want to... Uh, it's not worth investing the time. Everything I'm starting to get to is starting to look like this. I'm starting to get where there's, there's crotches back to back, and you just can't get any good straight logs. Which, the crotch pieces, you know, eh, sometimes they sell, sometimes they don't. Um, I've mentioned before, you know, that's, that's not really our game. Anyway, so this was the first and second crotch after the two main logs. So this one is six foot to the fork. So you got a good straight piece and then a fork. This one, you can see the fork. <laughs> has that kind of hollow out in there. It's kind of cool. This one I think is like five and a half. Oh, yeah, just shy of six. Uh, and then this one here on top, I wasn't really going to take it at first, actually. But then I measured because I'm kind of getting blinded, you know. But on the far end, it's still like 16 inches. So I went ahead and took it. And it's a full 11 feet to the fork. There's one other little branch down low on it, but I don't think it'll really affect. You better get a lot of good clean boards. There's the branch there on the bottom. You better get a lot of good clean boards out of it. And maybe a couple with some, with some figures. Now that's the bonus pieces, if you will, that most people wouldn't take because they're crotchy. I'm going to take that one too, but it's only about 8 feet long. It's got a couple crotches, but like I said, it's still decent. It's over 12 inches. Uh, I just didn't pick it up and move it over with the rest because I don't have a thumb and it, it was too little. The bigger ones I can actually curl the bucket around. So here's my two big behemoths. This was the bottom butt log. It was across the short axis. Oh, 30, 32 on the short axis. So see, you know, and I mentioned before, logs this big kind of really Guys, they kind of mess with me because it's 35, 36 on long axis. They kind of mess with me because I can't clear them with my chains, with my sawmill. So I, I have to shave a side off of them. If it's over 30 inches, I have to shave an edge off. And that's just a lot of extra work. So I really don't look for trees this huge. Um, but, you know, I won't pass up on them either. This was the other piece. 24, 25 on the short axis. So that was the bottom end of both. So that's the biggest end of both the butt logs. Um, top end, it doesn't really matter. Top end is going to be obviously a little less, but actually, <laughs> that's still 25. That's 20. <laughs> that's 25 top and bottom. <laughs> that sucker didn't taper at all. And actually, yeah, my, my main trunk here short axis the short axis rotates so this is the long axis on the other end but on this end it's the short axis it's 25 which makes sense because it was 25 on the other end duh <laughs> uh so yeah a couple of really nice big logs and then there's this stump there's this stump and that sucker is heavy 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 what i think i'm gonna try to do maybe is i don't know I don't know that I want to take it home. I mean, I got my walnut stump, and it's pretty cool. It'd be neat to try to saw out some different species stumps, but this one is so messy. It's all got that little yopon and stuff all through it. I think what I'm going to end up doing, because he wants a pond here anyway, I think I'm going to give him a pond a little bit more than he actually wants. And I'll see about just burying that stump in the bottom, because he seemed a little, when I told him, I said, where do you want the stump? And he was like, oh, I got to keep the stump, huh? So I might see if he wants to just bury the stump in the bottom of the pond. Of course, to dig the pond, we're going to have to look for some clay because this is sandy, sandy soil. This is, uh, those puddles of water, those weren't there this morning when I started working. And none of this water was here when I started working this morning. So this is all stuff that's oozed up. You can see where I was sitting with the tracks. I was just kind of, I wasn't getting stuck, but the whole time I was just slowly sinking a little deeper, a little deeper, a little deeper. 
anyway, um, I'm going to try to widen it out for them. All of this is all the tops. And I really, I hate shoving it back in the woods just because it just, it kind of exacerbates the issue of, um, you know, messy woods. I like to leave it clean, but he said he didn't care. I just, I don't have anywhere else to put it. I can drag it all out of there, but it would just be right here. So it doesn't make it any better. It doesn't make it any cleaner for him or for anybody else. So I think, man, I think I just shove it in there and hopefully he can find somebody that wants to come cut it out and clean it up. Um, there's plenty of people around here that, that cook and barbecue all the time with pecan. I just don't know. They might look at it and be like, yeah, it's not worth <laughs> fighting through a bunch of matted down yopon to get it out either. But Somebody with a tractor can hook onto the piece with the tractor and jerk them out in the clear to cut them up. So that'd be the best way to go, really. Anyway, I guess I'm waiting on the welders now. So I'm going to run home, get some lunch, and uh, see whenever they let me know that they've been here and done their thing. Then I'll come back with the trailer and we'll get her loaded. And once we get it loaded, then we can start cleaning things up really well and uh, see about doing the pond.